Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. The general election could be hit by a series of legal challenges after it emerged that thousands of postal ballots have not been delivered on time. At least 13 constituencies have been affected by the fiasco, eight of which are marginal seats. The crisis has been caused by councils not printing enough ballot papers and royal mail not delivering on time, it is claimed. One Tory source raised the prospect of wholesale legal challenges after polling day. The main thing to remember is, in most constituencies, conservatives do better on the postal votes. So this is likely to be disproportionately more damaging to the Tories than anyone else. Other parties could also mount challenges, the source added. What could happen is that all sorts of results could be challenged. We could end up with a complete mess after the general election, with people questioning the results. Chingford Woodford Green, where former Tory leader Sir Ian Duncan Smith is defending a wafer-thin majority of 1,262, is one of the affected constituencies, sources claim. Yesterday he urged both Royal Mail and local councils to take action, saying, we are demanding they act immediately. Waltham Forest Council, which is within the constituency, said, our postal votes were sent out on time, before the deadline. If anyone is having any problems, please contact us as early as possible and we will try to resolve it. At least 2,600 postal votes were sent out late in Northwest Essex, where Kemi Badenoch, the business secretary, is standing. Some postal voters in Rutland and Stamford, where Tori Alicia Kearns is standing, have yet to receive their ballot papers. The council, however, insisted that it issued the postal votes, on time, to Royal Mail. Six affected seats are in Scotland, where the school term ends earlier than elsewhere in the UK. Some voters went on holiday abroad before their postal ballots arrived. Cathy Bloor, from Aberdeenshire, told the Today program on BBC Radio 4 that she had not received her postal vote before going away and cannot now vote. I voted in general elections all my life and to miss this one just makes me quite upset, she said. I just feel like I've really missed out. Edinburgh and Fife councils have set up emergency voting booths so that postal voters who have not received their ballots can vote in person. A Royal Mail spokesman said, where concerns have been raised, such as in Scotland, we have investigated and confirmed all votes are being delivered as soon as they enter our network.